19 Juli 2022, Presiden Joko Widodo mengadakan pertemuan dengan Presiden Jose Ramos Horta, Presiden Republik Demokratik Timur Leste di Istana Kepresidenan Bogor, Jawa Barat, Indonesia. Dalam pertemuan tersebut dibahas sejumlah hal, mulai dari perdagangan antara kedua negara, investasi, pembangunan infrastruktur hingga konektivitas darat dan laut yang bisa meningkatkan hubungan bilateral antara kedua negara. Dan hari ini saya sudah bersama dengan Menteri Kepresidenan Dewan Menteri dan juga juru bicara pemerintah Timur Leste, His Excellency Minister Fidelis Manuel Liete Mangelans yang tengah mengadakan kunjungan bilateral dengan sejumlah menteri dari Indonesia untuk membahas fokus-fokus yang sudah lebih dulu dibahas oleh Presiden kedua negara. Dan saya akan langsung berbincang untuk mengetahui update mengenai fokus-fokus tersebut. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I spell your name correctly, right? Okay. So, will be uh, gas and oil sector also be the point of the economic bilateral relation between Indonesia and Timor Leste? So, what kind of strategy that your country maybe uh, will do in the future? And will be Indonesia be the part of the strategy for that sector? Now, with regards to the sector itself, the petroleum, the petroleum sector, it is a, a sector that is under uh, development. Uh, and as you know, we our, one of our fields now is nearing uh, the end of its life, that's the Bayou Undan. But we have another uh, a bigger field that's uh, greater, uh, called Greater Sunrise. The blocks are around, uh, have been confirmed about 16, 15 to 16, of which uh, six are onshore. So these new blocks are on offer. And, and, and we adopt a principle of an, of an open, transparent, open competition would encourage any party, any country, or any firm, or any company from any country to come and compete. And if, you, uh, as you said, if there is an interest from our friends, our private sector here in Indonesia to go and invest in, in Timor-Leste, to, to partake in the exploration of some blocks in Timor-Leste, that, that would be highly welcomed. But other than the petroleum sector, we have recently approved our mining code. Now, this is a new opportunity as well, because with the mining code now, the implementation of the new mining code, what it really means is that there is an opportunity in the mining sector. So private operators, private companies, those who are interested in investing or in exploring minerals in Timor-Leste, now is the time for them to go. Okay, so you basically invite every nation or every firm that you want to invest in your country, you are open wide. No, like certainly, you know, like, like Indonesia, uh, in this globalized world, I think we are embedded into the global and regional economies. We are hoping to join ASEAN. We are in the process on the eve of becoming a member of the WTO. So we want to be a trustworthy player in regional and global economies. So, but one way to do it is to be able to, be, to, 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 to open up and to invite investors uh, to come in, and we, we, we believe that there is, um, then it will produce uh, positive results both for the investor and for Timor Leste. So. so, please just tell me how, how will this Asian membership will be the benefit and uh, give a bigger impact for your country? I think, f uh, first of all, political and uh, security. But then there are other economic um, benefits. So, as you know, uh, ASEAN uh, has a combined GDP of uh, around 3 trillion and a population of combined population of around 600 million or so. And ASEAN has access to uh, enhanced access to regional uh, markets to, through the free trade agreements now with, with uh, Japan, China, Australia, New Zealand and all that. And when Timor Leste becomes a member, Timor Leste can really benefit of that. And then there is, there will also be an opportunity for the spillover of technology and of skills. Uh, so that embeddedness would also mean that Timor Leste would have an open and greater access to uh, global and regional markets. And this will certainly contribute to the development of Timor Leste. And we will also fa facilitate, further facilitate, the movement, the free movement of uh, capital uh, to Timor Leste, which we uh, really need. So with that, I think it will certainly contribute to the development, both political and being a member of this uh, important uh, uh, regional body, uh, but also economic uh, opportunity for uh, Timor-Leste. 
Okay, so basically, I know that you are very eagerly to like increase the rela bilateral relation with Indonesia. But uh, would you care to explain more about the strategy for your like inside your country? I can uh, with full, full um, uh, confidence that I, I can share with you that almost everybody across different political spectrums, different political organizations, political parties, civil society, all agree that Timor Leste's natural partner is Indonesia. That for for the prosperity of Timor Leste, we need to deepen our relationship with Indonesia, for the benefit of Timor Leste and that of uh, Indonesia too. Uh, so. And as, as I said to you, and as I stated earlier, that um, we have really enjoyed an open uh, mobility and quite an easy uh, movement of people, both to Indonesia and vice versa. And in international forum, Timor Leste has been Indonesia's one of Indonesia's uh, most reliable uh, friends. Timor Leste has supported Indonesia and on all positions that Indonesia has taken. And in fact, my president, Ramos Orta, in one of his interviews said, Timor Leste's foreign policy is to first support an ASEAN, consensus ASEAN, consensual ASEAN position. And if there is no consensus in ASEAN, we support, we go along with Indonesia's position. Okay. So I know you have already concluded what we have in this discussion. No, please go ahead. But go I have one ahead. more question. Please, this is going to be the last question. Please. Uh, you're talking about the movement of people from Timor Leste to Indonesia and uh, vice versa. So how about the free uh, visa policy? Would you mind to share the progress about this thing? Uh, it is a very important point and I'm glad <laughs> that you asked this. And, uh, well, you know, uh, the world was freer uh, before COVID. And before COVID, Timor Leste and Indonesia had really enjoyed free visa regime. And by 2019, 2019 the, re the reciprocity was already in place. But now after COVID, uh, things have slightly changed. We understand uh, the situation, uh, but for us, what is very important is that to ensure uh, freedom of movement, movement of our citizens and to make sure that as many Timorese can come to Indonesia and vice versa. So if we can, in the near future, we can uh, go back to the pre-COVID arrangement, uh, would be perfect for Timor Leste. Okay, thank you so thank much you. for your time, Minister Fidelis. Hope you enjoy your time in Jakarta and thank you for having us here. Have a nice time Terima in Indonesia. <laughs> Terima, Terima kasih. kasih. Terima kasih. Thank Dan you. itu adalah diskusi yang menarik antara uh, CNN Indonesia dengan Menteri Kepresidenan Dewan Menteri dan juga juru bicara pemerintah Timor Leste. Terima kasih. Sampai jumpa. Okay.